Okay, I'm just doing a little job on the car uh, today. It's not a very big one really, and this is not particularly a BMW specific job. Uh, I'm replacing drop links on the uh, anti-roll bar. So I think in America they call this the sway bar. Um, so I've already done this one. As you can see, the only shiny bit there is this rod here. For those that don't know, this bar here is a torsion bar which runs from this side of the car all the way across to the other and it uh, joins the two suspension setups on the two rear wheels and you have it at the front as well so it means when the body rolls one side it pulls down on this side and it also pulls the other side uh, down equally so that you don't get massive body roll as you're uh, going around corners. Anyway that's what they are so uh, all I noticed when I was prodding around doing the air suspension compressor which lives under there uh, I like to have a, a push and a pull on various things while I'm down here and I noticed that um, Here's the old one This is the bottom one here. It was uh, You probably can't see because I've only got the camera in one, one hand But uh, oh there you go so It was it was loose anyway it was... There's a bit of movement there so um, I like to push and pull on things and I noticed that it was making a bit of a, a clunky noise when I pulled on it so they're only cheap. Got a pair of these for like 20 odd quid, uh, just going to replace them while I'm here. Probably best part of half an hour's work, 45 minutes, something like that. So uh, perhaps I'll just show you quickly on the other side. Um, to take these off you just need to insert a star bit on the inside of the bolt to keep it steady and then just use a spanner to undo the bolts just li literally undo both pull it off insert the new one uh, this one's got nylock nuts so that, uh, they're gonna stay nice and tight and then uh, go to the other side so, do that now. so this is just a real basic job on any car uh, we're gonna take the wheel off we're gonna get in and have a look while the wheel's on the ground it's just basic stuff now obviously loosen your wheel bolts just a little bit, jack the car up and then you can undo the bolts without yanking on the wheel. And then we'll get in and have a look at uh, this side actually didn't feel bad when I was pulling on it but you replace them as a pair. So we'll uh, put this shiny new drop link as we call them. I don't know what you vertical stabilizer, I don't know what the proper word is for it but uh, the thing that attaches the anti-roll bar, the sway bar to the actual uh, bottom of the uh, Strip. So our drop link on this side begins here. You can see it here, this is it. Drops right down and connects here. So we're gonna be undoing this bolt and this bolt just up here, easy peasy. And then we shall replace it with this one. So we're gonna to wanna to put a little star bit here. What I might do is spray a bit of penetrating fluid on the bolt first. And that should let the, uh, the nuts come free from the bolt shaft a little easier. Okay, so from the underside, you can see this is the bottom of the, uh, the linkage joining to the lower control arm. And then up here, this here, I don't know if you can quite see in the top of the shot, this is the edge of your uh, anti-roll bar. So this now is completely loose, just sat in here. We're going to pull him out like that. There is our old anti-roll uh, drop link and there is our new one. So all I'm going to do is take the new nuts off the end of here. 
I'm going to replicate the angle that these are sat at because uh, these here are little ball joints. So these here, they uh, they move around to adapt to the uh, the angle that it's sat at. So I'm just going to get this the right way up. As you can see, one end has got like this little chamfered shoulder that connects into the lower part. So they look about the same. Just going to point this down a little bit. Oops, like that. Right. And I don't know if you can quite see, there's a, a nice dish shaped connector that this is going to sit nicely into there. So. And as we do the nuts up, it'll pull it tightly into the correct position anyway. So I'm just going to stick bolt on finger tight there. Now these drop links are aftermarket ones and aren't done up the same way. So the original ones, you need a star piece in the center of the bolt to hold it steady. In the aftermarket ones, you just uh, drop a spanner onto the back side just here just to hold it steady so you can do up the nut that's on this side. It's just uh, slightly different just because I haven't bought BMW ones, that's all. That's what you get with aftermarket parts. Here, yeah, this is slightly different, but on something like this, neither here nor there, really. And it now means I can actually use a, a socket on the end here. There we go. There we go. And we're done. And there you go, dead easy job. Every car has them. Less than an hour's work, four bolts, easy peasy just something to be prodding around and having a tug on. Same with the front, I shall be having a look at uh, the front um, steering and suspension bushes and things like that uh, next time I'm under that end just to make sure everything's feeling rock solid. And um, it's the kind of stuff that'll fail an MOT, so um, just keep your eyes on.